Hello, this is Ben Baxter with Accent Software. Today we're going to take a look at a product. It actually comes from a trusted developer that we work with all the time, and the product's absolutely free. So if you're watching this video, I'm going to show you and talk to you about how you can get this product for absolutely free. Add it to your database. Took me under 10 minutes to add it to my nav database and start working with it. Hopefully you'll have the same great success I have, but let's jump right into the product. This product is all about capturing files and attaching them to records inside of Dynamics and AV. So that could be from an email, somebody's emailed you an invoice or a quote or an order. Could be something that you have saved on your desktop, something that you've written yourself, a contract you've written up for a customer, and you want to attach it to a record inside of NAV. We're going to go to a customer file. So I'm going to select the Canon group. I do have to be on the card record, so whatever record I'm going to attach it to. So in this case I am on the customer card and you'll see this little box. This is the product itself. It's a little application that is running on this computer. Uh, it would be running on your server but mine's a entirely closed environment so this is running on my server if you will and it adds this little box. Now I don't have to do anything with that, it just shows me that it's there and it's running and this is a record I can attach a file to. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and minimize some of my products. I'm going to grab, let's just say this Word document here, and I'm simply going to drag and drop it anywhere on this customer card. And then immediately the uh, little icon up here has been updated. So what it's done is it's taken this file, which is a software service agreement, it has copied it to a shared directory that I have established, created the hierarchy in, in terms of file structure, and created a document link for this customer. If I look down here in my document links for nav, this is base nav functionality for document links, I now have a linked file. So from here, I can click the little globe, which will open up that software services agreement. Or I could use the uh, little icon up here, which will actually take me to the folder. So you can see nav extender folders, Cronus, the company that I'm in, the customer card, and then record 10,000. So it builds out this hierarchy for me and then attaches the file there. So I no longer need to keep this file. It is now stored on my shared directory that I have assigned to this product. So because I've dragged and dropped it onto this customer, it's updated nav with that document link. It's moved the file to a shared directory for me. So think of it as a document store storage facility and I have that hard link so now anytime anybody in my system looks at this customer record they're gonna see that software service agreement that I have attached to that record assuming they have the access to that shared directory it is something public to the network they'll be able to open that file and view it okay now that's a great piece of functionality. What if we expand it a little bit and we say I want to capture a document off of a email. Sometimes this can be a challenge. So we'll go back to our role center and we'll go to a purchase order. And I'm going to attach an invoice to it. So again I open up the record. So now I'm on my purchase order and I want to attach a file, an invoice PDF that we've received from a vendor. So I'm going to go to my email uh, I work with Microsoft, so I'll grab a Microsoft invoice and I'll simply drag it back over to that purchase order and I'll drag it anywhere, again, anywhere on this whole page, okay, and I'll just drop it. And what it's done is it's now copied it, it's created the document link to that document, and I can go back to the shared folder. Now again, notice nav extender the company name now we're on purchase orders and the purchase order number so the hierarchy is very specific to the record you're on and it builds it out on the fly so as soon as I dragged that file here it created these steps to build out where that file is going to be stored it's still in my email but now it's copied it to my network so I can always review it and I always have a document link that goes with it now because we're using standard nav document links when I post this purchase order that document link is going to carry forward so I'll be able to open up that invoice even after this PO has been posted to me 
for an absolutely free product, this adds a tremendous value. It actually replaces some of the existing NAV ISV products that we had that cost upwards of $5,000. I would say this is a no-brainer winner solution. I would recommend everybody goes out and does it. I will attach a link in the description of this video to show you exactly where to go to sign up and download this product. Again, took me 10 minutes. You do have to have a NAV 2013 or beyond, so something newer than NAV 2013 or 2013 because it is using web services and it actually provides the the one object that you add to the database is a code unit and the code units run one time to set up a web service that's it other than that you're just simply installing this application on your server and it's doing the rest and the documentation the click through in the readme file is perfect again i'm a non-developer and i had this installed and running in less than 10 minutes i hope you enjoyed this i think it's great content i hope everyone goes out and makes use of this again free product have at it go follow the link and get working on it uh, with that i'll wish you the best of luck uh, reach out to us if you have any questions on it we like the product and support it so phone number for us email for us will be available on the video as well if you like the content if you like our channel please subscribe please like our videos that provides us a lot of great feedback and helps share the content to the rest of the youtube community thanks a lot have a great one